Okay, so here we go with the first video. I've sort of come to the realization that each of these videos has a key concept behind it. So let's get going with the first tutorial and I want to introduce you to the very first key concept. If you're here, you probably know that the Unreal Compositing workflow is awesome for adding elements and masks in real time. Uh, this means that we can stream textures in you can add your compositing elements, background, foreground, any other cool things you want to add. And then it spits out a composite of all of the elements layered up together, masked off nicely as one new flat render target. That's ready to then be broadcasted out. This one is literally just going to be about setting your ins and outs in Composure. And if you understand getting your imagery in and out, then the whole middle section doesn't seem so hard. So ins and outs, let's do this. So what we want to start by doing is just going edit, edit plugins and enable Composure. So search that there, click enable, you'll be prompted to restart, restart your system and the plugin will be installed. So now we want to go window, Virtual Production, Composure Compositing. I'll open up this Composure tab here. What this is, you can create a new comp, empty comp shot, and we'll just call this DJing comp. This is our whole group of layers. So any layers that we make underneath this, you can go add layer element, make a CG layer for now. This will be a child of it. And we can add more and more layers down here to build up our composition. You've got certain things like opacity. You've got this option to turn media capture on and off when you have your elements rendering out to separate places. You've got this option to freeze frame and pause your video for each element. So super useful stuff. So we've got our comp here. This is the preview window. We can maximize that and it'll pop out. So it's just saying this horrible empty warning sign right now, but that's because we haven't set up our ins and outs. So we're gonna do that now and we're gonna do it with render targets because that's gonna be awesome for the live streaming that we need to achieve. So I'm gonna place a off-world live camera and you can look at previous tutorials of operating these, but we're gonna use this to send a render target into our composite. I'm gonna pilot it and just show you a shot that kind of has some has some bloom, has some lens flares. It's a nice shot. With this camera selected, you want to do the usual thing of adding a new texture target. And I'm going to do this in my own compositing folder. I'm going to call this DJ Camera Angle RT. So with this DJ Camera Angle render target created, you can see it's awesome. It's looking great. We can add this into our composure in. So composure is made of inputs, transform passes, and outputs. We'll look at the transform passes later, but just for the inputs, we want to add an array element and make this a texture input. This texture input is going to be what our camera is sending out. So we can just drag drag that on. Awesome. Let's save that. So our preview window has updated. That's cool. It's showing it's receiving some input, but we want to output the whole live stream as well. So, so we've got our input sorted. Uh, we're going to look at the transform passes. This is where we're going to add in our extra elements like our real life DJ. But first, we're just going to set the output as well since we're on render targets. Let's create another one. Call this one DJing stream out. Awesome. So our DJ stream out is now the wrong uh, aspect ratio, but we can change that down here. 1920 by 1080. And it's going to match everything perfectly now. So save that and close that off. And with our ins and outs sorted, I think that's enough for this video. We are now ready to compose elements into our scene and use this off-world camera to get the camera angle. 